sharing and security interview questions that can really help you in your next salesforce interview let's move on to the first question which says that the record is shared using criteria based sharing rule with coo now because of that ceo's record are also shared with coo which is incorrect in such cases how do we fix it now if you look at it what ex what is actually happening is that first of all i am logged in as a ceo inside chrome and inside edge i am logged in as coo right so inside edge i am logged in as rajesh shivastav and inside uh, chrome i am logged in as ceo which is salesforce in 5 minutes user so right now what's happening is that i have an account right so this account owd is usually kept as private so if i go to this account so owd is kept as private so basically whatever records that are been owned by salesforce in 5 minutes user must not be visible to rajesh shivastav as owd is private but wait i have one more sharing rule the sharing rule says that if account rating is hot then just share the record so basically the account the rating of this account is right now hot and that is the reason why the records which are owned by a ceo ceo are also shared with coo which is not correct right the records which are owned by coo ceo should not be visible to any other people which is right now visible to ceo oo because of the criteria based sharing rule now the question is how do i fix it because lower people are getting the access and we are using criteria based sharing rule how do i fix this kind of scenarios now the answer to this question is quite simple what i have done is i have introduced a field called as is active you can use any field that you want to right now what i have done is i have introduced a field called as is active now what i am doing is that inside this code it's a very shabby code but simple to understand that what i am trying to do is that whichever user is trying who the record owner is a ceo let's say whichever account record we have right now running which we are updating and the owner is ceo then in that case i am what i am doing is i am just making this active checkbox as true and along with that what i am going to do is i am going to edit it right now as you can see if i even if i reload this page i will have access to this field or i will have access to this record because of that sharing rule so along with the sharing rule what i am going to do is i am going to introduce this is active field equals false right so only if it is false only then go and share the records uh, with the coo right and if it is true this means that record was owned by ceo as per as the trigger and then it should not be shared further so let's click on save right now you can see this active checkbox is false so what i'm going to do is i'm going to update this fax number and with that the active checkbox should become true so as you can see active checkbox has become true now because of the trigger this record should no more be visible to raju shivastav so this is the an answer to this questions which which i was able to think uh, let's move on to the next question that says that can we add formula field inside the sharing rules so let's look into it right now as you can see i have a formula field called as check please so let's see whether we can use this within the sharing rule or not and my answer most probably is not the reason is because the sharing rules or sorry the criteria uh, the formula fields keeps on changing right so let me go to check please so as you can see that formula field itself is not visible to me over here the custom field is active was visible but that formula field was not visible because the value of this formula field keeps on changing rapidly right based on certain criteria and it's not defined and that is the reason why create the formula fields are basically not supported within the sharing rules now before moving to the next question if you have your any upcoming interview and you're not feeling confident enough you can connect with me one to one by clicking on the top met link below let's move on to the next question that as says that as per as the role hierarchy coo is able to read the records of ceo but he is able to read write the records of cfo we want that he shall be only able to see the records of cfo and not actually update the records of cfo how do i fix it so in very simple terms what it says that let me draw the diagram quickly cfo right so what's happening right now is that both of them report to ceo now what's happening is that coo is able to read the record of okay he is able to read the record of ceo but he is able to read write the record of ceo cfo right read write first of all what i think is that 
over here the OWD is kept as public read only okay that's what I am thinking OWD is kept as public read only so the base level access right now as you can see is read only that's the reason why I think so the base level access is kept as public read only and uh, we have most probably I, I think so that there will be a criteria based sharing rule which is written to the CFO and because of that the record of COO the, the, the records of CFO are possible like are editable to the CO okay because of uh, the criteria based sharing rule now in order to fix that what we want is basically that COO should only be able to read the record of CFO and should not be able to edit the records of CFO so how do I fix it I'll just remove the criteria based sharing rule right so what I'll do is I'll remove the criteria based sharing rule and because of that what's going to happen is that now the CFO or the COO will only be able to read the records of CFO which is as the OWD is kept as public read only because of that the COO will only be able to read the record of CFO and won't be able to read write so this was all about the interview questions that I had to discuss in this video if you found this video helpful I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel